Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We all welcome to the presence of the living God once again. Let us pray. Father, we are before you this morning to give you the glory that is due your name. We want to thank you for your preservation, for securing each and every one of us. Father, we went to bed, we awoke because you are the one that has sustained us. We want to thank you for your good thoughts towards us. Your word says the Lord has been mindful of us. We appreciate your goodness, your faithfulness, and your mercies in our life. We want to thank you for ushering us into yet another week filled with your glory, with your power, and your presence. Father, we ask that as we go through this week, that your spirit teaches us, leads us, show us the way to go and what to do per time. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity once again to commune and to have fellowship with you. Speak to us, Lord. He said, your sheep knows your voice, the voice of a stranger, they will not follow. Speak to us, Lord, and light in every darkness in our lives with your word. And let the name of the Lord Jesus Christ be glorified in our lives and in our midst. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let us proceed to worship the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. <clears throat> God said in his word that he is a God who will heal us. He is a healing God. But I know you might have questions about why this person or that person did not get healed. I have questions. But it doesn't change the fact that God said he is a healing God. And God and his word are one. They're the same. No one here would doubt if God came into this room and touched you that you'd be healed. The same thing can happen if the Word touches you. His power is in this Word. There's power to heal in this Word. There's power to save in this Word. There's power to deliver you from that hopeless situation. Let's put His Word on our lips and sing it back to him tonight. Heal me, O Lord. Sing it. Oh, heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved. Oh, heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. For you are the one I pray.
praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord Jesus. Let your healing power just flow to every person here right now. Be it unto me. You hold my every moment. You call my raging seas. You walk with me through fire and heal all my disease. I trust.
He is our healer, the Lord that he led thee. Glory to God. We're going to go straight into our prayers this morning. Pastor Jibril is online to lead us. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the living God. Thank you, Lord. I like us this morning to lift up our voices and begin to appreciate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords for this morning devotion and the refreshing that it brings. Lift up your voice in prayer and begin to thank the Lord. Father, in heaven, I worship you. I bless your name. I adore you, King of Kings. I magnify you. I glorify you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this morning devotion. Thank you for this platform. Thank you for the refreshing that is, is bringing into our lives day by day. I just want to worship you, Lord, and bless your name. I magnify you and glorify you. Thank you for using this platform to be a blessing unto each and every one of us, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness and your grace, O oh Lord. Jesus, that's none like you. Your word says, and he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, which spake with his mouth unto, unto David my father, and had with his hand fulfilled it, saying, Lord, you gave your servant this idea of this morning devotion. And you have proved yourself faithful through him, O oh Lord. We just want to bless your name. We appreciate you, Lord. We thank you for the refreshing day by day. Your word says, to whom he said, this is the rest wherein ye may cause the weary to rest. This is my refreshing. We thank you for your refreshing. We worship you, King of Kings. We bless your name, Lord, for meeting us at our point of needs through this morning devotion. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Our next Thanksgiving prayer. Father, thank you for answers to our prayers through this morning devotion program since the year began. Lift up your voices and begin to appreciate the Lord and thank him for answers to our prayers. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you. We worship you, Lord. We bless your name for who you are. Thank you, Lord, for answers to our prayers since this year began, oh, Lord. We appreciate you, Lord, for, Lord, it is your doing and it's marvelous in our sight. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for meeting us on our point of our needs, Lord, day by day as we gather, Lord, on this platform to hear you speak to us. The Bible says, I call upon the Lord in distress. The Lord God answered me and set me in a large place. Hallelujah. The Lord is on my side and I will not fear for what can man do to me. Lord, I thank you, Lord Jesus. For we call upon you day by day, Lord, through this platform. And you have met us at our point of needs. Lord, we bless your name. We magnify you, King of Kings. Thank you for answer to our prayers, Lord through this morning devotion platform, in the name of Jesus, since this year began, Lord, for indeed you have proved yourself faithful. You are, your ears are inclined to hearing our prayers. We worship you, King of Kings. We bless your name. Thank you for answer to prayers, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Our next prayer. Father, thank you for destroying every resistance of hell against this program, resulting in its continuous increase. Lift up your voice in prayer and begin to appreciate the King of Kings for making every crooked way straight for us, for, res for resisting the agenda of hell and for the continuous increase of this program. Father, we bless your name. We thank you, Lord, for what you are doing through this program through this platform morning devotion lord we appreciate you lord for destroying every resistance that have risen against this program oh lord we thank you for making our path level oh lord in the name of jesus thank you for breaking barriers and gates of resistance oh lord 
against this morning program, this morning devotion program in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the continuous increase we have continued to witness, oh Lord. We worship you, King of Kings. We bless your name for your hand as proved just, you have proved yourself, Lord, in this program in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your powerful hand, oh Lord, that's gone ahead of us, Lord, to make the crooked way straight for us in the name of Jesus. We worship you, King of Kings. We magnify, we thank you for continuous increase, continuous increase in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Our next prayer. Father, thank you for the testimonies you have granted through this program. Lift up your voice in prayer and begin to appreciate him. God has given us testimonies in our mouths, O Lord. We want to just bless him and thank him for giving us testimonies. Lord, we thank you for the testimonies that you have granted us through this program, Lord. We worship you. We bless your name, King of Kings, for it is your doing, oh Lord. And it's marvelous in our eyes, oh Lord. You have given us testimonies. You have given us reason to rejoice, reason to praise your name, to glorify your name, oh Lord. We worship you, King of Kings. We magnify you, oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for not letting us be put to shame, oh Lord. Thank you for your grace and mercy that we experience day by day when we gather before your throne of grace. Thank you, oh Lord for putting joy in our hearts, O oh Lord, and testimonies in our minds, O oh Lord. We give you all the praise, Lord, all the honor, all the adoration, Lord, for all that you are doing for us, Lord. Thank you for granting each and every one of us a testimony. Thank you for meeting us at a point of our needs in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Our next Thanksgiving prayer. Father, thank you for gathering us morning by morning and granting every worshiper diverse encounters with your prayers. Lift up your voice in prayer and speak to the Lord. Lord, I bless your name, oh Lord, I thank you. Day by day, oh Lord, you've been waking us up and granting every one of us, oh Lord, diverse encounters with your presence. Because you have proved yourself by saying when two or three are gathered in your name, you're there. Lord, we thank you for diverse encounters, oh Lord. Diverse encounters that you have given every worshiper, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, your words is the Lord God has given me the tongue of the learned that I should know how to speak a word in season to him that is weary. He wakened me morning by morning. And wakened my ears to hear as a learner. Lord, we thank you for waking each and every one of us for the grace and strength you have given us to arise early. Arise early to gather before your throne of grace to hear you speak to us, O oh Lord. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for the grace and strength you have given us, waking us day by day and the diverse, Lord, diverse encounters we have, we're having with you daily in the name of Jesus. The Bible says no one can come to you except you call him. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for calling each and every one of us, for indeed it is your doing. None of us, oh Lord, is doing this by his strength, but, Lord, but by your spirit, by your grace, in the name of Jesus. We worship you in Jesus' name. We pray. Hallelujah. Our next prayer. Father, thank you for enhancing the spiritual sensitivity of the pastor over this program, resulting in the smooth running of this program. Lift up your voice in prayer and begin to uh, commit Pastor Tinji, who God has given him, who God has placed him over this program. Lift up your voice in prayer. Lift up and thank him for enhancing his spiritual sensitivity. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray, oh Lord, and we thank you for enhancing the spirit, spiritual sensitivity of the pastor over this program, Pastor Tinji. We thank you, O Lord, for your grace that is upon him. We thank you for the wisdom, O Lord. Your wisdom that is upon him, O Lord. Thank you for that spiritual sensitivity, O Lord, you have given him. That he is sensitive to your word, to hearing, and giving him direction on how to run this program. We thank you for the smooth running of this program in the name of Jesus. Your word says, I can do, I, I can of my own self do nothing as I, but as I hear, I judge. And my judgment is just. And because I seek not my own, but the will of my father, which is in heaven. 
Thank you, Lord Jesus, for grace. Thank you for mercies. Thank you for wisdom upon your servant. Thank you for sensitivity, O Lord. Thank you for helping him, O Lord, in throughout this program that has resulted in the smooth running of the program in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Our next, next uh, Thanksgiving prayer. Father, thank you for granting your servant, the pastor over this program, and every other minister, supernatural utterance, and by it impacting our lives. Lift up your voice and begin to appreciate the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you uh, once more for your servant, Pastor Tenji, that you have placed over this program. And thank you for every other minister that has stood here to minister. Lord, thank you for supernatural utterance, Lord. Thank you for giving each and every minister that has stood here to speak to us. Thank you for giving them supernatural utterance. Thank you for your wisdom that's upon them. Thank you for the revelation of your word, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, O Lord, for using this minister, O Lord, to impact our lives daily. We worship you. We bless your name. We magnify you, King of Kings. We glorify you, Ancient of Days. You said in your word, and for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mysteries of the gospel. Thank you, Lord, for the boldness you have given every minister to stand and speak to us. Thank you for the supernatural utterance that you have given every one minister that have stood here, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the revelation of the mystery of the gospel. Lord, through this minister that have ministered, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We bless your name. Thank you for using this ministers to impact the lives of your people. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Hallelujah. And finally, Father, thank you for the diverse visitations granted us through this ongoing program. God has visited, us, visited each and every one of us in different ways. Lift up your voice and Begin to bless his name and appreciate him for the diverse visitation. Father, once more, we say thank you. Thank you for the diverse visitation that you have granted every one of us as we gather, Lord, in this program, morning by morning. Lord, we worship you. We bless your name, oh Lord, for meeting us at a point of our needs. The Bible says, and the Lord visited Sarah, as he has said. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he has spoken. Thank you for diverse visitation, O Lord. Thank you for each and every one of us, O Lord, that you have visited, that you have touched, that you have uplifted, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. We worship you, Lord, so because we know none, no one can come into your presence and return the same. Day by day, as we gather, Lord, for that, we have been in impacted by your presence. We have been impacted by your words. We say thank you, Lord Jesus. We worship you. We bless your name. We adore you, Lord, for the for diverse visitation to Lord upon every one of us on this platform. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have given thanks. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Now we'll go straight to the reading of the scriptures. We we'll have our brother Jesus from Seattle reading for us this morning from Isaiah 53, verses 1 to 12. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Holy Spirit, I pray that you breathe over this word, that it goes with your power. So, thank you, Jesus. Isaiah 53, from verse 1. Who has believed our report, and to whom has the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of a dry ground. He has no form nor comeliness. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that, was, that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Verse four, surely he had borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with the stripes, we are healed. 
and we like a sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way, and the Lord had laid on him the iniquities of us all. Verse 7, he was oppressed, and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before the shearers is dumb. So he openeth not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment. And who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living. For the transgressions of my people was he stricken. Verse 9. And he made his grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death. Because he had done no violence, neither was any deceit in his mouth. Verse 10. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He had put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed. He shall prolong his days. And the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. Verse 11. He shall see of the travail of his soul and shall be satisfied. By his knowledge shall my righteous servant justify many, for he shall bear their iniquities. Verse 12, therefore will I divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong. Behold, he had poured out his soul unto death, and he was numbered with the transgressors, and he bare the sins of many, and made intercessions for the transgressors. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. This week, we are going to be focusing on healing, on receiving healing. And um, as I was getting ready for it, this passage we just read just came alive in an unusual way to me, and I'm going to focus more on it today. And it's strange that a question asked many years ago is still truly relevant today. John 12, verse 37, they say, but though he had done so many miracles before them, yet they believed not on him, that the saying of Isaiah, the prophet, might be fulfilled, which is spake, Lord, <coughs> who had believed our report? That's the question. In our own days today, we have read of these miracles. We have witnessed, I believe, miracles. We have received miracles of them. We have seen on many sides from different people, including ourselves, some. And yet, generally, we are still doubtful of him today. And when I say that, I know some will cringe. What do we mean by we are doubtful? We don't doubt him, but that, that's pretty much the truth. And what do you suppose made Apostle Paul the same statement or question? Romans 10, 16, he said, but this, they have not all obeyed the gospel. I, I would say it today this way, but we have not all obeyed the gospel. Oh, pastor, I'm saved. I'm born again. That's not what I'm saying. I'm talking of obeying the gospel. Because the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ is a gospel of power. It's a gospel of health. Of course, it's a gospel of healing. And he too has the same question itself because Isaiah too says it a lot. Who had believed a report? So my question to you this morning is, do you truly believe his report? And when you read that Isaiah 53 that we just read now, which I'm going to go through again, but I'm, this time I'm going to do it from the message translation. And I pray it comes alive to you. 
You see, the plan of God, you see, all that Jesus, the master, went through, he didn't go through one of those things for himself. His pain was for us. His death was for us. In the picture, if he went through all that for us, it's already done. Then, what is the problem that we still have today? But let's read it. You just I'll make comments in between. The message translation, Isaiah 53 from verse 1. He said, who believes what we have heard and seen? Who will have thought God's saving power would look like this? I mean, that's just the truth. That's why the, the Jews still find it difficult to believe him because they thought if he's come, that's the Savior coming, he should just, nobody should be able to touch him and all that. It's clear. But still, the servant grew up before God. His quani seedling, a scrubby plant in a parched field. There was nothing attractive about him. Nothing to cause us to take a second look at this. When Jesus was here, he looked ordinary like every other person. He was looked down on, passed over. A man who suffered, who knew pain firsthand. One look at him, and people turned away. We looked down on him and thought he was calm. That was God came and subjected himself to all this just for you. Follow me. But the fact is, it was our pains he carried, our disfigurement, all the things wrong with us. So the pains he went through, not just even on the cross, before the cross. He brought himself low, insulted, abused, humiliated by men that he made. He went through all those for you, for me. He said, but the fact is, it was our pains he carried our disfigurement, all the things wrong with us. We thought he brought it on himself. I mean, they accused him even, they made fun of him on the cross, that our God was punishing him for his own failures. He had no failures. That's why even till today, you're trying to preach to people and they're laughing at you, what are you talking about? That's what's his problem. And some of us, even in the faith today, we still talk like that without knowing. But it was our sins, he said, that did that to him, that ripped him and tore him and crushed him, our sins. Now, when we, we read this, we need to picture. There is no, people have said the closest to how the Romans those days crucified robbers, murderers, treasonable fellows was close to that film, The Passion of, of the Christ, that uh, Mel Gibson did. And you saw he was beaten to nonsense. That was really true. And that was taken for you, for me. I'm going to get to where we're going. Let's move on. Let's pass that. But it was our saints that did that to him, that ripped him and tore him and crushed him. Our saints. He took the punishment and made us whole. That is the key. He took the punishment has already been served. He took the punishment and made us whole. We are already made whole in him. All he's calling for is for us to believe him. But to believe him, you must see the picture. What he did for you. Let me continue reading. Through his bruises, we get healed. We are all like sheep who have wandered off and gotten lost. We've all done our own things, gone our own way, 
And God has piled all, note that word, all our sins and everything we've done wrong on him. God piled it on him. So that was our punishment he took. That was our judgment he took. And in taking that, he made us whole. That's the root of our healing. Verse 7. He was beaten. He was tortured. But he didn't say a word. Like a lamb taken to the slaughter. And like a sheep be shared. He took it all in silence. Because he knew the purpose for which he was taking it. Just for you, for me. That in receiving him, we will be made whole. Justice miscarried, the scripture says. He was led off. And did anyone really know what was happening? He died without a thought for his own welfare. Beating bloody for the sins of my people. They buried him with the wicked. They threw him a grave with the rich man. Even though he never uttered so or said one word that wasn't true. Simply because he was doing it for us. Still. Now listen to this. It was God. Sorry. It's what God had in mind all along. So it was not just an event. God planned it that way. Because the wages of sin is death. And in Adam, we have all sinned. For all have sinned, I'm falling short of the glory of God. So we were all already condemned. He came and went through that process so that we are not only free, we are also healed of our infirmities. It was it's what God had in mind all along, to crush him with pain. The plan, that he, the plan was that he gives himself as an offering for sin so that he'll see life come from it. And that's the life we have today. Life and more life. The abundance of life, abundant life. The, and God's plan will deeply prosper through him. I believe strongly for that plan to keep prospering, it means you and I must also be whole. There is no way he has paid for something that we are still suffering it today. Out of that terrible travail of soul, you will see that he is worth it. And the big teacher I want to ask you today is, he is asking you right now, what I went through for you, is it worth it? Because if I went that to for that if I went through that for you, and you are still going through it today, what's going on? Is it that you didn't believe the report that I went through it? Is it that you couldn't see how I took your pain? I took it, I felt it. My bones cringed for it, my flesh torn to pieces for you. So that your body will not be broken. Your mind will not be confused. You will no longer be separated from God. But enjoy this life wholly. So something is wrong somewhere. Either you believe my report. And walk in health. Or you disregard my report and keep carrying it where you shouldn't. Do you truly believe that report? Sin is abolished. Death is abolished for you already. I took them all. So that you can enjoy your health. Enjoy your life. He said, by my stripes, you were healed. Out of that terrible travail of soul, he will see that it's worth it. And he will be glad. Through what he experienced, my righteous one, my servant, will make many righteous ones. Yeah. As he himself carries the burden of their sins. Therefore, 
God said, I will reward him extravagantly. The best of everything, the highest honors, because he looked it in the face and didn't flinch. Because he remembered the company of the Lord. He remembered us and took that pain. When I, when I read this through yesterday, it was just, it excites my soul. And my, my, the question just keep ringing. Can we see it? He, he didn't need to do that because he had no sin. The Bible says he who knew no sin was made sin unto us. But he took it all for us. And the question this morning is, do you believe that? He took your pay. Do you believe that he was bruised for your peace? As the chastisement of our peace was laid upon him. Do you believe that? Can you see that? Will you be able to say this week, no, this can't be with me because he took it already. Will you be able to do that? He said, Lord, who had believed our report. Like the great man, Rokenoli, sang or the things, whose report will you believe? That he didn't take it? That he didn't suffer it for you? So you have to do all you can to get it done for yourself? Whose report will you believe? My time is up for the church. I pray you had him this morning. But he's done it. The accusing finger has no place against you. If you have received Jesus, by that concept of substitution, he took your place. You will no longer see affliction. Because he took it. Hallelujah. Well, I have to bring myself down. We have to go into our personal prayers and I pray you go with that knowledge this, uh, this morning to say, no, affliction shall not rise again the second time. He took it. I believe your report. That's why we sang some of those songs this morning. Heal me, O oh Lord, and I shall be healed. He's already done it. I believe you are my healer. It's time to walk in health. I don't want to, I can't stop, but just go on with your personal prayers. <laughs> uh, this morning, we'll be back shortly. Go before the Lord and let him know. Let the Lord know that you believe him. That you truly, truly believe his report. Challenge The circumstances contrary by faith this morning.
Blessed be your name, Lord. Let's begin to give him thanks for our start prayers. Let's begin to bless his name. Let's begin to bless his name. Oh, we bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We glorify your name. The Lord, our maker, we bless you, Lord. The Lord, our healer. The one that took it all upon himself for us all. We bless your name, Father. Lord Jesus, we acknowledge your death, your resurrection. In getting us saved and freed from every affliction of darkness. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I need you all to really stay on that Isaiah 53 again. And read it, read it, read it, read it in every translation you can find. Until it hits you. Because he said, but it was for our sins that he, that did, it was our sins that did that to him. He did it all for us. It was God's plan. So that you and I can enjoy that freedom today. If the price has been paid, then it's a contradiction to still carry them. And God will establish total health for you and your family this week. In the name of Jesus. There's total health for you and your family this week in the name of Jesus. And that is leading me to ask us to try and get this um, prepared communion or whatever you use for your communion. I know within one week may be short for some, but it shouldn't be short because Friday we are going to have the communion here. If you don't have the prepared one, prepare your own on Friday. Because this week is dedicated to our health. <laughs> and on Friday, we are going to have the communion together. So get ready for that. My heart is just panting for the price that has been paid. We shouldn't be there. And that's why Jesus is speaking to you this morning. He took your place. You should know that. Believe that. Say it to yourself until you believe it. And tell that affliction, no, you can't come again. Because the word already said that affliction shall not rise again the second time. You have been dealt with once, you are not coming back. Hallelujah. Whether even it's a hold of the enemy upon the mind, that hold is broken this morning. It's broken off this morning. In the name of Jesus. He paid it. Let's celebrate the prize he prayed, the victory he won, and the life he has given us. He said, I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. When that sickness came, they said, In whom thou lovest is sick, he said, The life, this is not unto death, but that the glory of God should be manifested thereby. The glory of God will answer even in your own situation also, in the name of Jesus. Men will gather to glorify your God because of what he has done, in your own situation also, in the name of Jesus. We challenge those afflictions and oppression of the enemy this morning by the light of the word of God, in the name of Jesus. As a sent word to you this morning, Receive it, celebrate it, believe it. Paul said, because they have, we have not all obeyed the gospel. It's time to obey it. It's time to walk in it. It's time to walk in the reality of his benefits. And they are yours already this morning. In that name of Jesus. So please get back, read that Isaiah 53 many times over. So you start swimming in it. He did it for you. Did it for me. And by that we are free. Father, thank you this morning. 
I thank you for sending your word again. He said, they cast out spirits by his word and healed many that were healed, sick. By your word this morning, I know deliverance has been established for your people already. I know healing has been established. Because that power is in your word and your word has been administered today. Blessed be your name. That mind is loosed of the bondage of the devil in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Lord, all through this week, let amazing flow of health be everyone's portion on this platform. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Well, we thank God for another day, another, another week. Remember, this program runs Monday through Friday. And um, we need to keep getting out to people to get them connected. Remember, it's our assignment. And as we do that, the King of Kings himself will satisfy you in the name of Jesus. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Let's share the goodness together. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Jesus is Lord.